Welcome again to another BD video. This video, I know developers are going to love it, it's how we can create PHP files and then integrate them, include them or require them on our BD platform. So first, okay, here we have our BD platform. I'm going to create a PHP um, file. Let's call it um, hello.php inside of it let's create let's create a variable called uh, bd bd hello let's say welcome to the bd platform dude okay there we go let's just save that we have a simple php file here super simple and let's upload that file FTP file manager so we have it on our site upload hello and there we go okay we have it on our site let's verify that there you go okay that's done so now we're gonna try to show that variable here on our system Let's create a new widget. Let's call it something unique, something nobody has ever done or used before. Mm, hello world. Yep, nobody has seen that before. This is the first time you've seen that. I created that, nobody has. We're gonna include the file. Note that when I um, added the file through the FTP file manager, it was on the root folder okay which is a public html so i'm just gonna say here hello that php that's all that's all now let's print the the variable that we just created it's bd hello that's all you know what you know what i'm going to make it so shows really big on the page so we know it's there okay there we go now if we leave it like this like I mentioned before this would be the public HTML but with the and this is very important with the root here the root symbol this slash you're not going to be on the public HTML inside the public HTML uh, folder you're gonna be outside of it so to fix this, since we're working with uh, scopes in the PHP directive here, we gotta leave it like this. So we, this just tells the system that we're exactly on the public HTML uh, folder. So let's save that. And you can see, oh, here it is. Welcome to be the platform dude. Now it's very important inside of this file for example if i do this oh my there we go okay let me upload this file okay i'm just echoing that information there let's go here okay file manager let's upload it here so we can overwrite the same one there yep overwrite refresh and we should see both cases here you can see the oh my and then the welcome to the bd platform why just in case you can see them here why am i seeing first oh my and then the welcome to the bd platform dude that's because when you included the file that the moment you included the file it ran this line and echoed that to the to the site we can go here, we can go to the to the widget so you can see it. So you can see here we the moment we included the file, that's the moment you try to execute and read everything here. So you read the BD hello variable and then stored it on memory and then it ran this uh, next line. So we echoed that information here, you can see it here, and then proceeded to keep on running the rest of the lines here. So then it went to the echo. 
be the hello. So that's why you see it written one way here in one uh, order and then another order here. So this is a simple way on how you can add uh, PHP files, external PHP files to your BD site and extend the power of the BD site even further. Not just with the widgets that we offer, but through more PHP code that you can actually integrate with the system. So hope this video was very informative for you and have an excellent day.